thanks to Sufyan for joining by video. Next we have from Spain Ana Martinez and Natalia Perez from Planning Creation Spain. Plena Inclusión España. Her name is Ana Martinez and she came from Plena Inclusión Spain. And I'm Natalia Perez and I work with Ana also in Plena Inclusión Spain. Plena Inclusión es un movimiento asociativo de personas con discapacidad intelectual y sus familias. Plena Inclusión is an associative movement of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families. Las familias fueron las primeras en darse cuenta que tenían que estar unidas para luchar por los derechos de las personas con discapacidad. Families were the one who noticed and who think that they need to stick together to support people with intellectual disabilities. Pero sabéis que ahora somos nosotros las personas con discapacidad quienes queremos luchar por nuestros derechos con el apoyo de las organizaciones. But now the people with disabilities are the ones who want to fight for their own rights and we and they need the support of the organizations. Y os vamos a hablar de un, pro, de un proyecto pleno internacional. We are going now to talk about the project that Plena Inclusión has. Plena Inclusión is a, a, is a is an state organization and we represent more than 900 uh, organizations in, in Spain. And we have a project that is called Plena Internacional. And this project, we are now going to explain what it is. El proyecto de Plena Internacional Es un proyecto en el que personas con discapacidad nos, comen, nos conectamos desde muchos países del mundo para conocernos y aprender unos de otros. With this project, uh, people with intellectual disabilities from all around the world work together and they connect with each other to know about how disability is going in other countries and to learn from each other. Tuvimos un congreso internacional en Sevilla y fue muy valioso que vinieran personas con y sin discapacidad de varios países. Y sabéis que incluso se conectaron que nos hizo mucha ilusión desde Taiwán. Más, del 80, más de 80 personas éramos personas con discapacidad. Uh, we had a congress in this project last year and in this congress we have people from all around the world, more than eight countries participate in the congress and it was really incredible that people with and without intellectual disabilities could participate in this congress and Anna says that is, it was really, really exciting that also the connect people from Taiwan and more than 80 people with disabilities participate in the Congress. Ahora os vamos a dar unas claves cómo nos organizamos este Congreso para que sea accesible a todas las personas. So now we are going to talk about how we create this Congress and we are going to give some clues ideas so how can we organize a Congress so it could be accessible for everyone. Mirad, aquí están las pistas. I think now in the screen you can see all the clues that we are going to share. Sí. Diseñar el programa con personas diversas. So we need to think on the program, on the Congress, with different people, with different profiles, with people with and without intellectual disability also. Yo la ayudé a diseñar con personas de apoyo y compañeros. Ana, with also other colleagues from the work, also participate in the organization of the Congress. Espacio para cultura y música, y tiempo libre para conectar. Also, it's very important that the Congress could have some free space and people can, in this, in this time, can connect and have different sp spaces from, for music and artistic activities. Son espacios, es importante porque son espacios abiertos donde podemos conocernos y comunicarnos y ver que las personas con discapacidad también podemos ser artistas. 
it is really important having these different kind of spaces so people can connect and we can see that also people with disabilities also they are also artists. Combinar ponentes con y sin discapacidad porque todos tenemos algo que aportar y es importante que escuchen nuestras voces. Also in, in the Congress that we have in Sevilla, it was really important combining speakers with and without disabilities because it's really important that everyone can see that we all have something to, to give and something to contribute. And it's really important also to people can listen to people with disabilities and their voices. Y también formatos diferentes para que para que cualquiera pueda aportar. Me hizo y nos hizo mucha ilusión. Sabéis que desde Taiwán se nos conectaron a través de videoconferencia y el idioma y la comunicación no fue ninguna barrera. So in this case last year we also have uh, different formats so anyone can contribute and they also connect as you can see in the picture from Taiwan. It is really excited and also, in this way to connect uh, the language and the communication, there wasn't a barrier. El Congreso fue una pasada. <laughs> the Congress was amazing, it was really exciting. Y en España, sabéis que la accesibilidad cognitiva es una de las principales preocupaciones. Por eso se creó el Centro Estatal de Accesibilidad Cognitiva. Also in Spain, it's really important for us cognitive accessibility. So uh, last year, it uh, it was created the a space that is called Seaco. It's the state center of accessi accessibility, cognitive accessibility, and it's a really a priority for our site. And we are working in ac cognitive accessibility in all the levels. Muchas gracias por invitarnos a estar aquí. So we are really thank you. Uh, we are really thankful for being here to the organization, uh, for everyone to giving us this space to be here. So thank you very much.